The rich, buttery flavors of fall are hard to resist, and some of the foods are healthy, packed with vitamins and fiber. Meyer Healthy Living Advisor Tina Miller joins us now, and I am blown away by this dish here, Tina. So tell us what you're cooking up and how to do it. We have a really simple stuffed squash that we're going to do. So I have acorn squash, and I also have a sweet dumpling squash. It looks, looks like the acorn, but it has the stripes. Okay, right. Picking a nice ripe squash, yeah. um, the acorns you want to look for a little orange spot. Okay. That tells you that it's a ripe squash. Okay. So what we need to do first is cook our squash. You can do this either uh, pierce it, throw it in the microwave for about five minutes, cut it in half, okay. seed it, and then it can cook in the microwave another ten minutes. Or I love it baked. So what I'll do is I'll cut it in half, seed it, put it cut side down on a oh. baking sheet about 45 minutes at 350. Oh, comes and it out. comes out golden brown. And, and then uh, you emptied a little bit of it out of here, right? Um, yeah, that's where I scooped out the seeds because okay, that's the cavity. Got so it, what got we got, got going here okay. now for the filling is we just have uh, two Michigan apples that we've cut up and about a cup of cut up onion. Okay. So we've got that uh, sauteed. Little olive oil in the A little olive there? oil. Okay. Yep, always use just a touch of yeah. olive oil. I have here some of our Meyer chicken sausage. This one is garlic and Asiago cheese oh, flavor. Yum. Oh, it's awesome. Okay. We also have this um, maple uh, flavored that you could use as well, but I like the contrast. So it's about four of these links that you okay. cut up, 12 ounce package. Those are pre cooked, aren't they? They're pre cooked. So you, just warm, so you go. Yep, okay, you good. just need to warm that up. Right. And then about a cup, cup and a half of uh, I like this wild rice blend, but you yeah. could use a brown rice. You want a nice whole grain. Such a healthy dish. Lots of fiber. Very yeah. filling. So we'll add all that in there. Mix it up good. And then um, I've got a quarter cup of dried cranberries and a couple tablespoons of chopped pecans. Okay. So I those will pecans. go in there. Yeah. So, and then the last thing we're going to do is add our spices and a little liquid. And it just takes about 15 minutes to cook. Okay. So I've got some... Um, Thyme, some cumin, um, and I've got some, I'm sorry, some thyme, okay. a quarter teaspoon of clove, and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. So we're okay. just going to stick that in there. And then our liquid is, as we make all kinds of noise here. Yeah, that's okay. A uh, quarter cup of orange juice and a tablespoon of maple syrup. Ooh, so you can use pure yum. maple syrup. And we're How gonna, long do you cook that for then? This will cook on your stove top just about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay. Then you're ready to stuff it into your squash. So here's some that I prepared. Okay. yesterday and you'll just fill up those cavities and can we and I mean this shot of the of this after which you can get here but over here, I mean, it is a beautiful looking dish I yeah. think you would just wow your guests with this it's and so easy to it do. tastes good too right yep. so I've got goes do back in the oven for 10 minutes mm. okay 15 minutes um, at 350 just to finish it off and then you can serve it so it just comes out wonderful. absolutely phenomenal what a tremendous flavor Never supposed to eat on TV. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that you tried it. So wonderful. health benefits, great vitamin, yeah. mineral, fiber, wonderful. Recipe so. right now at WXYZ.com. On the scene on 7 tab, click on that. Tina, thank you so much.